We're in this very difficult to film video here, and um, yes, it has certainly turned dark here, and it's pelting down with rain outside. But yes, we've got Luke, the narrow gauge green engineer, and mind you, um, before I actually made this video, Luke actually fell down from the bed three times or thrice, and mind you, it was all down to the Trackmaster track, but also the way Luke also behaved. Naughty, naughty, naughty. He obviously shoved the Tammy track, but mind you, he's doing the runs now at just basically pulling this long train of madness. They've only just got like eight pieces of cargo wagons. Three of them are brand new from Japan, which are like few tanker trucks. And I've got five old ones uh, from previous Tammy and Trackmaster characters from Thomas and Friends. And Luke is one of the newest ones. And he's stuck, and he gets through. But I'm actually going to release him from the Tamri, well let's just say, oval of boredom. And let's see how he goes without making contact with the bookshelf. Because I know there are some books with very legitimate brands that will probably sue me. And yes, in this video I'm only going to take a look at one of that product. It's actually getting dark in here. Uh, it looks like it's starting to rain. Really good. Uh, I'm just going to turn on the table lamp here uh, for better contrast here. It's actually quite wet here. Luckily, we don't have any extreme pieces of weather here. Let's see how it goes. Oh, yes, no thunder lightning outside. That would literally scare the crud out of me. Well, not. And mind you, Luke is pulling this train so helpfully and nicely. Oh yes, but yes, in this video I'm only going to take a look at one Switch so that product, as I said earlier And also another product here, which is a product which is basically a 12 pack That I did in the previous video, which I can't remember the name of But, on the link on the description below, I'm pretty sure you might find the info on there And there's a link to the video, which I actually did a, a review On the 12 pack of my European Goldfinches Those ones there the ones I'm handling now, which cost about £13, those ones there, and the now new ones here, the now new ones here, sorry I've just got, you know, sometimes my English is a bit bad though, but that's how I am, um, this one here is a 5 pack of European Goldfinches, it's a small flock 5 pack, cost about £7, which is basically £6 less. Very interesting, isn't it? But look at the colours of these goldfinches. They've actually got much more of a different shade of brown. This one, much, I'm pretty sure, has got goldfinches, which have much more of a milky, chocolatey, reddish brown sort of colourisation here, I believe. Mind you, this is like the same colourisations as your horse or your dog. I don't know. But here's the back of the packaging here. And also, one piece of information that both the 5-pack and the 12-pack don't contain is that they obviously don't contain the you know some information about goldfinches having you know their upper and lower mandibles just move up and down you know the chompy jaw action or their chompy beak action which makes sense but in this product here there's some very interesting information here it says all have new slightly darker brown colorizations too yep the colorization on these birds uh, probably notably on the um, the belly and also the humps they're actually quite different let's take a look and see what we've got we've got five of these of course yep we've got five very nice ones of course I've got the table lamp on as always as usual and let's make a comparison with the 12 pack goldfinches because I'm actually going to show you one of these but because I want to show you what's different and what's actually very similar to them. Even though these are based on goldfinches here, I know they've got the same design as well. And mind you, they all look pretty nice. I think the tail is a bit very similar, of course. The colorization is very similar, of course, in the way they've used like pens and pencils and stuff. But this one here has got more pencil detailing. It's got much more of a lighter brown sort of color here. And it's actually a lot more realistic. Uh, Semi realistic, in a sense, eh? compared to the five packs uh, that I'm going to review right now here very interesting wing beat of course and uh, mind you we've got a moth I'm just literally flying 
Oh my goodness me, I've actually got I've actually got loads and loads of moths in my house. Probably like three or four, maybe six or eight moths in the house. Crikey Charlie. Did I open my can of worms or not though? I don't know what I'm talking about, but it feels like I've actually got a whole bunch of moths in the house because it's been like a warm and hot summer perhaps though. Uh, but let me take a look at the new goldfinches here. And they've got like, you know, much more of a reddish milky chocolate sort of brownish colour here on the bellies here and also this section here where the legs are inside and there's also the hump detailing action here. It's actually very interesting here. Um, looks very, very nice. But there's one problem here. I can also see some splotches of brown. It's a bit sloppy. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's actually like splotches of brown from both sides of the wings here. Maybe this could probably make this huge reason. Maybe this, this is basically what it is, though. It feels like a stamp when you just, you know, it's like a print, isn't it? A very sloppy print. Um, but with this one here, um, there's no worries for that one here because there's no browns on the um, yellow side of the wings here. You know, it's actually what it, uh, you know, what toys is all about. It's all about detail and stuff. Looks quite nice. And I've actually noticed that, you know, you know, the five pack goldfinches here have got much more of a, a much uh, better contrast compared to the old, you know, the other goldfinches I did, which was the twelve pack ones. And mind you, uh, all these have names, which is very, very nice. Yep, you've been goldfinch. That's what their names are. Um, that's very, very nice, and it's actually quite interesting to hear that, I'd say, but another thing I've actually realised is that, you know, the way the blacks have been done on the pen here, you know, actually the pencils here, sorry, are a lot more darker, and have a much better contrast as well, which is interesting, even though maybe there are some goldfinches from that 12-pack which are like this, which have the lighter brown colourisations here, which might have you know, shades of black, you know, much more better contrast of black compared to those five pack goldfinches there. But that's just about it in this video, eh? Nothing much to say. And I think that's just about it in this video, eh? Because I just feel like that just reviewing one flip that product is just probably enough. And anyways, if you enjoyed this video here, I know Luke has been totally derailed in this video, of course. Please give this video a very very nice like in this video here. Subscribe for more of that videos on YouTube. While I reroll link and run him back like so. Oh my goodness me, I'm actually not going to do the whole, well let's just say overall track uh, of boredom because I just feel like Luke is going to shove the Tammy track and then the next thing Luke is going to derail off the track and mind you that's going to break him of course. I don't want him to get damaged. But Luke overall is a very fine looking engine indeed. Very, very nice. And actually I do realise that maybe these goldfinches here with the beautiful reddish brown detailing here could be a real subspecies of goldfinch from another part of Europe, I don't know, maybe from Asia, Africa, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that curve track there is all oh, I think Luke oh my god, Luke is, is about to well here. I think I better stop this video here because I think what I can see here is a piece of curved track that has been buckled up already though. So if you enjoyed this video here, as I said before, give this video a like, subscribe for more of that videos on YouTube, and as always, thank you very much for watching, and bye for now.